everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a slightly different video this Friday. So I know that my videos are generally, you know, rare plant index videos or whatever else, but this week I'm a little bit stumped for time. A lot of you probably don't really know what I do, but long story short, I'm an AI programmer for a games company and we're releasing a game in the next... I'm recording this on the Sunday, so by the time it gets to the Friday, it's going to be a matter of like a few days until this game is released. So basically everything is really really hectic at the minute I don't know how many hours I'm going to be in the office how many hours I'm going to be here it is very hectic I wanted to do a story time with you guys now a few of you may not know what a story time is it's kind of like a genre of videos on YouTube where people sit down and tell you stories it could be a story of how somebody got scammed or somebody took a bad uber ride or something like that I would like to tell the story of the day that I got Big Al my giant alocasia okay so I bought Big Al on August 25th 2018. Most of my plants, excluding the recent rare ones, are from a store in Manchester called Flourish. And that's where I get most of my plants. If I haven't got a plant from Flourish, it's probably from Ikea or it's probably from TPC. TPC is the Tropical Plant Company. I just, it's a lot of syllables and it's Sunday. Okay. So the day I bought Big Al, I can't remember why, but for some reason I was really like, I was just in a really weird headspace that day. I was pretty anxious. I'm a person that likes to plan like every single thing that I do in a day. And if something kind of goes off piste a little bit, I can kind of get a bit thrown by it. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm quite highly strung. I just remember I was in a weird headspace and I was on my way to town with my boyfriend Mark so we had a holiday booked for kind of like a month's time so we're gonna go into a clothes shop but I know for a fact that opposite this clothes shop is my plant store and I was really getting into plants at the time and I just I couldn't help myself you know what it's like when you're like your addiction starts but it's not fully fledged yet and you kind of go nuts like before you've even acquired a taste for what plants you like if there's a good deal on on a plant in a shop you're probably gonna pick it up. You know what I mean? That weird stage where you just haven't become established yet as a plant person and you just go kind of crazy. This was me at this time, okay. So a quick kind of descriptor of my local plant store. It is kind of like a market stall. It's not an indoor shop, it's all outdoors. We haven't actually gone shopping for anything yet because I've said to him, can we just, you know, can we just go in now before I go shopping? Just to look, just to look. I'm not gonna buy anything, maybe, I don't know. What? This plant stall, it has like succulents and cacti and one little like kind of sliver of the stall and then there's a pillar separating it and then there's something else and then there's another pillar separating it and then and you normally get to the more like foliage heavy plants so you have like alocasia there you have fiddly fig you have like every type of calathea anything like really really leafy like it's kind of like the section that i would go to i'm there i'm having a little browse i'm having a good time it's a sunny day it's beautiful and i walk over and i see immediately something that i want and i don't know what it is yet but i can see that it is clearly some sort of alocasia plant so there are about maybe four or five of these same plant kind of lined up on the back shelf and it has a little placard in like the middle plant of this little roll and it says that it is an alocasia culculata. I now know that it's not, it's an alocasia calidora. So you have a row of the alocasia calidora and then underneath that you have a row of the alocasia culculata. But I'll be honest, I didn't really see the culculata. I went straight for the calidora, but I thought it was a culculata. You get me? You get me. But I immediately identify this specific alocasia as being the one that I want. The structure of this plant, it had like a larger leaf and then kind of like another leaf here and then another leaf. It would photograph well, you know what I'm saying? It was structurally really nice. It stood really proud. It was my favorite one of the kind of like the four that were in a line. Is anybody else like that? Like there could be like 20 plants lined up in a store, but you take a look and you think, no, I want want that exact specific plant. I have fallen in love with this alocasia. It is priced at 25 English pounds. I'm gonna buy this plant. I want this plant. And my boyfriend was like, okay, but we have to go shopping today and we have to go shopping for loads of holiday stuff. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, what are we gonna do with it? It's huge. I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm sure if I pay for it now, then I pick it up later, it'll be fine. He was like, well, you, I mean, it's big. And I was like, yeah. 
what's the problem? So we just spent a lot of money, uh, like literally a few weeks prior, and we were kind of being really mindful of that, and we were trying to budget for the holiday. And it, it was just a time where we were spending a lot of money, but it was necessary, do you know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'll be honest, because I can be honest about these things. I like to pride myself on that quality. I was being a little bit ridiculous, and I kind of walked away, and I was like, no, fine, whatever. We'll just move on with the day. And I was really, <laughs> I was really, really kind of pissed. I'm going to be honest, I was kind of pissed. And I knew he was right. I didn't have that money to spend. I honestly really didn't. So before I continue with this story, there's a couple of things you need to know about me. Number one, I get stressed very, very easily. Number two, I always second guess myself and I always think things through way too much. Like I overthink pretty much everything. Three, I am really unlucky. But anyway, I've walked away. I'm kind of dragging my feet a little bit and I'm just kind of having a little bit of a soul because I really, really want this planned. So my boyfriend senses I'm a little bit pissed off and he's like, honey, you can get it if you want. I'm not saying you can't get it. I'm just saying, consider all the things you were talking about this morning when you said you only had so much money and you need to get bikinis and stuff on holiday because let's be honest, I can't wear my woolly jumpers out there. And he said to me, you can get them if you want. And I said, do you even like it? Because I'm not gonna bring a plant into the house that you don't like. That's like so like not right. I like it, get it, I like it, get it. I don't know if I detected a little bit of like just non-sincerity in his voice, but I was like, but do you like it because I like it? Or do you like it because you like it? And it just got into this bullshit conversation that we were having about 20 meters away from this plant store. Just bullshit production that I myself am putting on because I'm just in a weird ass mood. And I was like, but I need you to like it because you like it. I want you to like it for you and not for me because then I'll feel guilty about getting it and it's not right. Before my boyfriend does what he does best and he decides I'm not going to say anything to her. I'm just going to start walking back to the plant store. I'm going to pick up this damn plant and I'm going to buy it so we can get on with our day because he knows with me that if he reaches this kind of weird point, it ain't going anywhere. So he sets off kind of back across the street to go back to this place and pick up his plant. And I was kind of like tailing behind him and the alocasia is in sight. I can still see it. No one's touched it. There is However, a crowd of people now surrounding the stall. About 10 meters now between me and the stall. I see all of a sudden from the other direction, I see this couple and I see them walk towards the same kind of foliage, you know, stall section of this plant store. You know, when you just have a weird thought and you're like, hmm, this is, this is not a good thing. So my boyfriend's walking at a certain pace and I can see this couple walking at a certain pace and I can see they're kind of beelining for the same section that kind of we are. But I mean, I'm not gonna run. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna make a scene, okay? I'm not. I'm just gonna kind of walk as fast as I can without making it look like I'm walking faster. I'm gonna get to this stall. Now I will now go back to my previous point, which is I generally most of the time make matters worse for myself by overthinking alone. In addition to all of this, I'm actually also extremely, extremely unlucky, okay? Things happen to me that just, I don't know how statistically likely they are, but I'm gonna go out on a whim and say that it's not very likely uh, that half the things happen to me, happen to me. Quick example for any of you wondering. I was gonna go to a party that night. It was back when I lived in Newcastle. I went into a beautiful shoe shop and I spent one hour and 45 minutes with one of my best friends picking out the perfect pair of shoes. And I picked out the perfect pair of shoes. And I mean, perfect. It's one of those satisfaction purchases where you know that what you found is so perfect. Nothing could ever be more perfect for the thing you need it with. I tried them on, perfect fit. Beautiful, amazing, job done. Went to the tail because they only had one shoe out. But I just thought, no problem. There's a barcode on the bottom. I'll just take it to the till. The store clerk, whatever you want to call them, they'll find the other shoe for me. They can scan it. They can find out where it is. I take it to the till. I said, can I have this please? Obviously I'll take the other one. She went, yeah, sure. She bleeped it through the till. And then she went, oh. She was like, mm. Mm. And I was like, can I have the other shoe? And she was like, no. And I'm like, what? She was like, I'm sorry, there is no other shoe. And I'm like, I don't mean to start any fights here, but shouldn't they come in pairs? Long story, really, really short, I did not get my shoes that day. Anyway, so I see what's going on and I see this other couple heading towards this alocasia. I scoot up a little bit and I catch up with my boyfriend. I'm like, they're gonna take that alocasia. They're gonna take it, they're gonna take it. And he said, no, don't be silly. There's four of them. Sure enough, we kept going a little bit more. I kind of screwed up to keep up with him. We were almost there. We were literally about two meters away from touching this alocasia. All of a sudden, 
hand swoops in from the right hand side. I can't remember if it was the guy or the girl, but they swooped in and picked up, of course, the most perfect alocasia out of the five of them, four of them, however many there were, and they pick it up. And I'm just like, no. My heart absolutely sinks because I'm like, you know what, if you hadn't been such an idiot about it in the first place and just go, no, I'm gonna buy it, we wouldn't be in this situation. But as it happens, they have picked this alocasia up, they placed it on the floor in front of them and they're talking about it. So they're kind of deciding if they wanna buy it. Like, I can't just pick it up in front of their feet, okay? That's not good manners, it's not good etiquette. It's obvious they've kind of got this kind of claim to it. I'm already soul destroyed by this point, okay? I am not happy. My boyfriend kind of looks over me and he's like, oh. So this couple have the Caladora, the most perfect Caladora that I've picked out on the floor in front of them, kind of like a meter away from the stall. And then I think it was either her or her boyfriend goes to pick up this other one, which is one of the Calculata that were kind of on the shelf underneath, okay? So they're clearly at this point comparing the one that I've picked out, the most perfect one, the Caladora with the Calculata. So I'm already having like a mad flap because I get really anxious and just generally worked up over everything. So I've kind of like walked away and then kind of walked back so plus I also want to be able to talk to my boyfriend but we're actually way too close to them so I kind of move like three four meters away so he kind of follows me over and my boyfriend looks at me and he can just see how disheartened and sad I am and he watches me kind of he half listens into their conversation talking about the two different allocation and he half just kind of looks at me and acknowledges me half the time and we're kind of all stood in this really long awkward line the couple have no idea yet that we want this plant and my boyfriend's like you know what my girlfriend really wants this plant she will have this plant. And I was like, that's so nice of you, but what are you gonna do? You can't just take it. It's on the floor, they're deciding what they want. You can't just take the plant. And he was like, I can try. And I'm like, oh my God, okay. So obviously my boyfriend has stood next to the guy out of the couple and obviously, as I mentioned before, his girlfriend's on the end. And he turns around, he kind of waits for a gap in their speech when they're still discussing these two plants. And my boyfriend cuts in and he says to the guy, excuse me. And he goes to lean down and pick the plant up. He doesn't touch the plant, but he kind of leads down and like gestures towards the plant, like as close as possible without making it look like he's actually just gonna steal it. He looks really politely at the guy and he says to him, excuse me, we would like to pay for this plant. And without even looking at his girlfriend, the other guy is like, we're not finished deciding yet. And I was just like, oh my God, what are you doing? And I'm just like, oh, okay. So my boyfriend didn't respond to what he said and he just stood there and I'm just like, oh, this is getting a little bit awkward. So I don't say anything because I know that they kind of, they acknowledge us now fully and they're in their earshot and we're in earshot of them. I come up with probably the same game plan as my boyfriend has decided to come up with. We didn't speak to each other about this. Obviously we can't. We're not gonna get mouthy up in here. No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be as polite as possible and we are going to awkward them out of buying this plant. That is the best strategy that we can probably do for this situation. We're gonna awkward them out. So the couple keep discussing, you know, which one do they want, this one or this one? And the, the girl out of the couple proceeds to tell the boyfriend what she likes about both of them. She keeps kind of changing her mind, like, does she want this one? And then it's like, no, it's this one. So I'm kind of like, what's happening? My anxiety is through the roof. But all the while, my boyfriend is doing the only thing he can, and that is to stay in place. So he is still stuck next to this girl's boyfriend politely but really awkwardly just not saying anything so her boyfriend knows that we are not moving until she has made a decision. So this girl is taking her merry time through whatever reason. She keeps talking about, oh, I like this, I like this. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? We are stood next to them saying absolutely zero. Like my boyfriend is not gonna budge because I think he's figured out the same thing, which is if I stand here long enough and I make it awkward, you are gonna be less likely to choose the plant that we really, really want. So he keeps standing there. She keeps talking. I guess the boyfriend just can't take the awkwardness anymore because he He's figured out we're not moving. We're definitely not moving. We're just gonna wait till this thing, you know, plays out. She is fully acknowledged this point just due to the fact that the boyfriend isn't talking back and now we're on all in this big group conversation that isn't really a conversation. It's just us waiting for her to decide what the hell she's doing and me just hoping that she makes the right choice. And she keeps going. She keeps going for ages talking about which one is better. Her boyfriend is just, she's he's stopped having input because he knows if he fuels her like back and 
and forth. This is just gonna take even longer. So the boyfriend eventually stops talking, so none of us are talking, it's just her. And she's like, oh, it's a big decision though, isn't it? And I'm like, this isn't a big decision for me. I picked this out, I was stupid enough to walk away. I've come back, I'm just, just, Pick the calculata. This guy just cannot stand the awkwardness of my boyfriend standing there. I guess maybe he thought we were gonna move. We didn't. We just kind of stood there waiting patiently. We didn't do anything wrong. It wasn't aggressive or anything like that. It was just kind of a weird social vibe going on. There was a there was like a natural break in their conversation that lasted a few seconds, and I guess he just seized the opportunity to end this scenario. And he said, Yeah, we'll take that one. And he pointed to the calculata. We're in business. I don't know if this girl was annoyed that she didn't herself get to choose and he chose. Maybe it wasn't actually that important to her. I didn't sense any reaction from her. I just remember my boyfriend absolutely beelining for this plant that they had right next to them to just pick it up like, yeah, okay, thanks, bye. And he hands it to me and I take this plant in what I can only describe as a damn death grip, okay? I grab it like that. And he's like, well, do you think we'll hold it at the tail? I was like, I don't care. If I have to take this plant around every clothes shop in all of Manchester, and I have to take it into the changing room with me, and I have to ask it how my outfit or my bikini looks, that's fine. I will involve it. That's not a problem. I am buying this plant today. So we take it to the till. I take it to them and I say, look, I'd like to buy this plant. I'd like to pay the money now. I'd like to hold it and then come back for it in about two hours. They wrote for me my name on the side of the pot and a little post-it note. They taped it on. I paid my money and it just said my name. Spelled wrong, paid. It's still on the plant. I left it on the pot. Here it is. So this is the pot with the post-it note on with my name spelled rather incorrectly that I got on the day of purchase. Here is the picture. That is me on the day I got the plant. If I look a little bit tense, I probably am still coming down off the anxiety of it all. That is the story of how I got Big Al. It's not necessarily interesting, but I thought I'd share it with you guys because as I say, I have a lot on in the minute and things like rare plant indexes are not very easy for me to do right now, given the fact they take so much time. So I'm very, very sorry about that, but I do hope you enjoyed this little story time. Yeah, let me know what you think. I realize this is a completely different video to what I normally do. I apologize for keeping you probably way too long. So I'm very sorry about that. Yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. It really, really helps. And if you want to see any more of this or any other normal videos that I actually do on plants, then please subscribe because I am a small channel and it really, really helps. I guess that's it, guys. Have a really, really great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.